minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engines full power, and lift off of Falcon 9. Go Falcon, go 1 Web 2. Pitching down range. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral, carrying the OneWeb Launch 16 mission payload. Now, during ascent, we tilt the engines, which is what we call gimbling. That turns, power and telemetry. that turns the rocket horizontally, which is what we call a gravity turn. And we're still going up, but we are now also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. Vehicle supersonic. A moment ago, we did throttle down the engines on the first stage in preparation for Max Q, which is coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. Great news. We have just passed through the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. Really awesome views here of the first stage vehicle. Now, the rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles hey, per you. hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and to get into orbit. So you can keep an eye out on the stage one telemetry and that's on the bottom left hand of your screen. Again, incredible views of the first stage vehicle, first stage engines lighting up there. We do have five events coming up here back to back. That will be Miko, main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, SES one, the boost back burn on the first stage, and then we will also have the fairing halves deploy. And Miko, stage separation confirmed. And back in the Stage one, boost back startup. There, we have just seen all of those events. Really cool views. We had Miko, stage separation, stage one flip, which you can kind of see in the background of the second stage vehicle's view. Awesome view here of the first stage. Stage one, boost back, shut down. And there you can see on your left-hand screen as the those engines shut down on the first stage. That concludes the boost back burn for the first stage vehicle. Bearing separation confirmed. And also got an awesome view of fairing deploy there on your screen. Now those fairing halves... Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Those fairing halves, one flew for a sixth time and the other for a seventh time, and we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back down to Earth using our recovery vessel dug today. Now we are T plus four minutes and about 15 seconds into today's mission. And we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns before satellite deployment. Now on your screen on the left hand side is a view from the first stage. It is a little bit dark there, but when we do come up on the entry burn, which is at T plus six minutes and 20 seconds, you should see those three engines reignite on your screen. And that entry burn is where we reignite these three engines and that helps slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now we need to slow the vehicle down to reduce re-entry forces, which helps us recover and reuse the first stage vehicle. Now, during the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines. We're also still moving rapidly, so this causes the vehicle to fly through its Merlin exhaust gases, which is also what we refer to as the rocket's plume. And this deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface. Now, that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. And we are just about 30 seconds away from that entry burn beginning on the first stage. 
On your right hand screen is a view from the second stage, looking at that MVEC engine glowing very bright there. Now stage one is making its way back to land and you can see Cape Canaveral there in the background of your left hand screen just a little bit. It will perform three burns for landing. It already completed the boost back burn, now coming up on the entry burn, followed by the landing burn. Now coming up shortly here, we will have Seco 1, that is second stage engine cutoff 1. That is where we will shut down this MBAC engine and allow the vehicle to coast with a payload before its second burn, and that's coming up here in just a few seconds. Nominal orbit insertion. Stage one, entry burn startup. Great news, as you heard that call out and can see on your screen, we have reignited three of the nine M1D engines. Burn Stage less. one, entry burn shut down. Stage less. one, FTS is saved. It's less than a 20 second burn, and as you can see, the engines have shut down. That concludes the entry burn for the first stage Both vehicle. vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Now we are just about 30 seconds away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage vehicle. It is just the E9 engine that will ignite for landing. And the M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust. So one engine reigniting is just enough to help slow the vehicle down in time to stage touch down for landing. Coming. Stage one landing burn. There you can see the landing burn has begun on Falcon 9. Let's watch as the first stage touches down on landing zone one. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Wow, an awesome view of our land landing. As you just saw, Falcon 9 has touched down on landing zone one. That marks SpaceX's 162nd recovery of an orbital class rocket. Stage two is in terminal guidance. And that includes first stage landings for both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. We'll see you back here in about 45 minutes. And in the meantime, enjoy the space tunes. Welcome back to the webcast. Now again, we are just about 15 seconds away from SES-2, or second stage engine start two, and SECO-2, which is second stage engine cutoff two. Coming up here in just a few seconds. Nominal orbit insertion. And great news, we did have confirmation of a good orbit. Now we are just a few seconds away from the first set of satellites beginning to deploy from the second stage. So let's listen into the nets and keep our eyes on the live screen there. One web, set Alpha 1 and Alpha 5, separation confirmed. One web, sat Alpha 1 and Alpha 5, separation confirmed.
One web, sat Alpha 4 and Alpha 8, separation confirmed. And there we've had the second set of satellites deploy. That confirms in this first deployment sequence. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if we're able to regain ground station coverage earlier than expected, then we'll be sure to provide live views, so stay tuned. For now, sit back and enjoy the space views. Welcome back to the OneWeb Launch 16 mission webcast. Again, if you're just now joining us, we are regained ground station coverage, as you can see One live web, there. Charlie 3 and Charlie 7, separation confirmed. Satellites drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage. OneWeb, Sat Delta 4 and Delta 8, separation confirmed. And there you can see another set drifting away from the second stage. One web, sat Delta 3 and Delta 7, separation confirmed. Now, if we're able to connect to a different ground station earlier, we'll be sure to bring real-time views of deployment in. But for now, relax and enjoy some more Space Tunes. <music> Welcome back to the OneWeb Launch 16 mission webcast. We're coming up on the third and final payload deployment sequence, which should deploy another 13 OneWeb satellites. OneWeb, set Echo 3 and Echo 7, separation confirmed. OneWeb, set Bravo 3, separation confirmed. And great news, we did have confirmation of another two satellites deploying. Again, this is the third deployment sequence of three so far. One web, sat Delta 1 and Delta 5, separation confirmed. All 40 OneWeb satellite separations confirmed. With a live view out in space, you can see the last. Tonight's launch concludes our 201st overall SpaceX mission to date and second launch of the year. Thanks to all of our viewers for tuning in and your continued support. Have a great night and we'll see you again soon.